Hello everyone and welcome to Short Quizzes here on YouTube. I hope wherever you are, you're having a great day. But if you're not, let's hope that over the next few minutes, we can go some way to brightening your day. Whether you're working hard or hardly working, at home, in the office, or at the back of class, here's your chance to take a few minutes, have some quizzing fun. The guidelines are up on screen. You can play this quiz on your own with a group or as teams. Grab a pen and paper and write out those answers. But no search engine, no phone a friend, just spoils the fun. The theme of this quiz is history. There'll be about 25 to 30 seconds for each question in the video, but feel free to pause if you think you need a little bit longer. And if you are playing with others, after all 10 questions, you can swap your papers and mark each other's efforts. And don't forget, so let me know in the comments if you've had some fun and I'll put up a poll near the end so you can all share your scores. So let's get started with question one. As of 2020, who is the oldest first term US president in history? Question two. As of 2020, who was the youngest first term US president in history? Question three. Who was King Henry VIII's sixth and final wife? Question four. In 1928 in the UK, all women over the age of 21 secured the right to vote. How many years earlier did all men win those same rights? Question five. In which country did Mary, Queen of Scots, reside between the ages of six and 18? Question six. In what year did Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walk on the moon?
Question 7. Which artifact, unearthed in 1799, eventually enabled the deciphering of Egyptian hieroglyphics? Question 8. Which two people shared the 1993 Nobel Peace Prize? It's time for question 9. Which of the following started in 1789? The US War of Independence, the French Revolution or the War of Spanish Succession? And your final question, question 10. Who is the only British Prime Minister to have been assassinated in office? Okay, that's all 10 questions. How do you think you've done? Time now to swap your answer papers if you are playing with others, because we're gonna get right to those answers now. But feel free to pause if you need some time to confer and you join us when you're good and ready. So question one was, as of 2020, who is the oldest first term US president in history? And the answer is President Trump. Question two, as of 2020, who was the youngest first term US president in history? And the answer is President John F. Kennedy. Question three, who was King Henry VIII's sixth and final wife? And there the answer would be Catherine Parr. Question four, in 1928 in the UK, all women over the age of 21 secured the right to vote. How many years earlier did all men win those same rights? And the answer is 10 in 1918. Question 5. In which country did Mary Queen of Scots reside between the ages of 6 and 18? The answer is France. Question 6. In what year did Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walk on the moon? The answer is 1969. Question 7. Which artifact, unearthed in 1799, eventually enabled the deciphering of Egyptian hieroglyphics? And the answer there is the Rosetta Stone. Question 8. Which two people shared the 1993 Nobel Peace Prize? And they were Nelson Mandela and F.W. de Klerk. And you need both for the point. 
Question 9. Which of the following started in 1789? The US War of Independence, the French Revolution, or the War of Spanish Succession? And the answer is the French Revolution. And the final question, question 10. Who is the only British Prime Minister to have been assassinated in office? And the answer is Spencer Percival. OK, so how did you do? Let me know in the poll that should be appearing at the top of the screen now. If you've enjoyed this quiz, why not click the thumbs up button to show your appreciation? And you have the option, if you'd like, to leave me or your fellow quizzers a comment in the comments form below. But please, be friendly in the comments. And I would be much obliged if you'd go ahead and click that subscribe button. All that's left for me to say is, thank you very much for watching, have a great day, goodbye.